Hey guys, this is Alex from LightsailVR.com. In this video, I want to talk about InCam. I have a bunch of videos I want to make, a bunch of tutorials I want to make about the InCam system, why I chose it, all those sorts of things. But in this video, what I want to do is just show you my InCam kit because they gave me one case. I have made my own case now and I've put a bunch more stuff in there. So I think it's just important because there's a lot of little things that I find are very helpful. And if you're using InCam, you might find some of these accessories to be helpful as well. So let's just jump in. So the InCam originally came in this case on top. Um, and you can see it's now empty. I have ripped out the, uh, the stuff on the inside because this case is just too small. So I have repurposed our, our Yi Halo camera system, uh, repurposed the Pelican case for that. So I can put my in cam and a lot of stuff inside here. Um, so this is basically pretty much everything I need for in cam. And so I have my, my charts are here. And then you can see this is the original in cam foam that it came with. This is pretty much the same of what, uh, what comes with it by default. There's lens encoders on this side. There's in cam server underneath here is a power supply connection box, the camera itself, a few extra cables. I bought the uh, Tilta lens encoder cable in case uh, we need to use that. Um, it did not come with an OSHA cable for the power supply, which is interesting. So I keep one of those in there as well. Let's go ahead and take this out. So then I have three different toolkits, um, actually four if you, if you include these. These are actually calipers. I'll just show you this now. So this is really more for powering DC. If you're using DC power to power your in-cam server, I only uh, pack the calipers to make sure that it's the right barrel size to fit the in-cam server. Um, so let's look at this one next. So this, this has a tiny monitor. Um, I basically, how I use the in-cam system is I set it up with, actually at this one I don't even need to set it up with it, but I, use a, I just use a small mobile monitor to get it set up. Once it's on my, uh, my network, not Wi-Fi, but once it's on network or Wi-Fi, it can be Wi-Fi, um, then I use um, AnyDesk to remote into the server so I don't actually need a second monitor. Um, I'll just use my laptop for that and then I'll have a, a render machine rendering everything else. So, so I have a little monitor. Then I have my Orbi wireless router. So I've been recently, I've done a lot of testing using the InCam wirelessly, like for Steadicam or Crane or whatever. And it actually works really, really well. I tested a bunch of different routers. I found the Orbi mesh system to be the most stable. So yeah, that's a good tip there. It's got a power supply. It's also got a mount here and I put uh, I created a mounting point, uh, basically a little plate for the Orbi. Um, I was going to buy a cheese plate. Cheese plates were like 80 bucks. So instead I went to Home Depot and I found something that works. So that's what's in that box. Uh, we'll look at this one next. because This one's got mostly grip gear. So in here I mostly have different rigging tools. So I can rig the in cam to a bunch of different things. So I have a cart. So for instance, if I want to put it on the cart, I might put this little baby cartellini with a three eighths up here. I can mount it to that. I can put it on a C stand so I can use this to mount it to C stands. Um, I have these things called cine locks, which my friend Sebastian uh, turned me on to. So these things are really interesting. They allow you to do quick release. So what's cool about this is you would put this part, for instance, this one was on the um, connection box, and then this part could be mounted to, for instance, a Steadicam, and then you can just quickly release it by sliding it instead of having to unscrew it every time. So very, very, very important, especially when you're doing like Steadicam or Crane, you might need to pull it off real quick. That's a very cool piece of kit. This is great for mounting your in cam because it really locks down tight and doesn't go anywhere. Um, one thing you'll also notice is I've put some markings on all of our gear. So if it's metal like this, I just put a triangle. <coughs> that just is, stands for a sale. So our company's Light Sale VR. So just so I know what's our gear and what's, you know, maybe the AC's gear or whatever. Bunch more clamps and, and magic arms, that sort of thing. 
these are great. These are 15 millimeter um, mounting points. So if you have a rod system, you can slide this on and mount your, your in cam stuff. And I've got a tape measure, which is great because sometimes you need to measure things on set and I always end up needing one. Okay, then this last box, I have all the rest of the GAC. So of course, I've got tons of cables. I'm gonna start over here actually. So I have HDMI to SDI converter in case I need that. I've got a Thunderbolt recorder and Thunderbolt monitor. So basically I can get SDI, HDMI in and out just all through Thunderbolt. So for my Mac Pro or for my PC or whatever, I can get these in with really small, really great to have. Um, I have a deck link, but I don't always have it available. These can also be backups. Then I also have this mini converter up down cross, which basically the in cam needs a 1080 signal. So I pack this in the kit in case the camera is sending anything else but 1080. Um, I can go up, I can go down. Um, I can loop out of here as well, which is very helpful. I can go HDMI in and out, which is cool. And I can also do reference when I need it. This can be a very, very important piece of kit. I do have a little network switch. Okay, and then I have a bunch of cables, Thunderbolt, Ethernet, etc. I've got a cube tap, I've got DTAP power splitter, I've got an XLR to barrel adapter, various DTAP to barrel adapters, I've got a mouse, I've got a few short SDI cables, I've got a USB hub, and then I've got a multimeter. If you're going to power your in-cam server with DC power, a multimeter is very, very important. And here's why. All power is not created equal. If I test this battery, I can see it says negative 16 here. That means I have these swapped, so I can turn these over if I want to see it. So this is outputting 16.77, and this battery over here is, I think this is the other way, is outputting 14.57. And depending on how much they're charged, that will also depend on how much power it gives out. This can be, this barrel can be center pin positive or center pin negative. And it can also output a different amount than what the battery is outputting. And sometimes what I found is that the cable itself puts out enough power, but it's faulty. It, it jumps back and forth. It's sort of, I'm just exaggerating here, but if you look at the numbers, it'll sort of, it'll be there and then it'll go away. It'll be there and go away. And so I have thrown away cables because it wasn't powering the in cam. I couldn't figure out why until I plugged in a multimeter. And then I figured out that it was working, it just would cut in and out and that would cause all kinds of problems. So a multimeter is a very important piece of my kit. All right, that's it for this video. I'm going to be making a lot more videos about the in-cam system, things you should be aware of, some things to know, how to use it wirelessly. Make sure to subscribe so you get more videos like this. All right, see you in the next video.